Hello, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to shoot projectiles or bullets in Blender. <clears throat> so the first thing you need to do is you need to add an empty to your scene. So you want to hit the space bar, add empty, and now we want to position our empty by our character or by your gun, whatever you want to shoot make sure it's by my character. I'm going to hit the G key to grab it and I'm going to hit the control key to make sure it's locked on my character there. Make sure it's where it needs to be. Alright, <coughs> now uh, we want to we need to go and create our bullet. So we're going to go up here on the layer tabs and we're going to click on the second layer and now we're going to hit the space bar, add mesh UV sphere, and we're going to scale it down a little bit. So we want to hit our S key, scale it down, and <coughs> we need to give it some rigid body physics so it, it flies and doesn't just sit there when I reshoot it. So we want to click uh, actor, dynamic, rigid body and we'll give it a color real quick too okay now we need to go back to our first layer wait f we need to name the bullet also so <coughs> want to hit the N key and up here where it says object or OB Let's just give it a name. We'll call it Ball. And now we can go back to our first layer. And we want to click on our Empty. <coughs> and on the Logic tab, we want to add a controller sensor and actuator. And for the Always, we're going to click on Keyboard, because we're going to just tell it to whenever you hit the space bar it shoots a bullet so where it says key we're going to click the space bar there <coughs> and we're going to connect these controller sensor and actuator up here with the strings and where it says motion we're going to change that to edit object and by default it's going to say add object and we want it to add so where it says OB for object, we're going to call it ball, or we're going to type in ball because that's what we named our bullet. And where it says time here, it has a zero. Uh, Blender runs at 30 frames per second, so if you want your bullet to live for three seconds before it disappears, you would you'd want to type 90 in there. So we want to live, let it live a little bit longer than that. So uh, we're going to type in like. 300. That will make it live for 10 seconds before it disappears. <coughs> now we need to, uh, where it says lin v, that stands for linear velocity, under the x axis, because that is, if you look at our empty, the x axis is what's pointing away from our man. So we want to make the bullet shoot out of the x axis. So we're going to click on the x axis axis tab under linear velocity and we're going to give it a velocity of say 50 and one more thing we need to do here <coughs> so our empty rotates with our character we need to check these two tabs on the right hand side that says uh, apply the transformations locally we need to check both of them now let's try it out when we hit our play button Our character shoots. Well, we forgot to parent the empty to the character. So, with your empty highlighted, you want to hold the shift key in and right click on your character. And now you want to hit the control button, and with the control button held in, you want to hit the P button 
and now where it says make parent you want to left click on that and now you just made your empty parented to your character now wherever he moves the empty will move <coughs> so now when we hit the P button and we hit the space the space bar he shoots now see he shoots wherever now so let's try that out we'll looks like it works pretty good yep works good okay thanks for watching be sure and check out my other tutorials